All right, y'all, it is thrift haul time. I'm gonna show you guys all of the items that I purchased during um, our thrifting. And um, most of these items will be listed on my website at thesimplespursestudio.com. And make sure if you are purchasing something off of the website, if it says, please read description, then uh, make sure you read the description because some of my items are to be either painted or flipped or something done to them. But if you do purchase something and you do not want it painted, make sure you message me and let me know that you don't want it painted and we will, I will leave it as is. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. I have got, this is a, I think this one's a Homer Lachlan. Yes, Homer Lachlan. Um, for those of you who are new to my page, I love restaurant wear, iron stone, that thick, chunky um, pieces. And this is one of them. I am not a red person, so I don't do the red colors, but I know that I have a lot of people out there who love this. But look at the pretty... Uh, design on it. Like I said, it does have the stamp. It is a Homer Lachlan. Very, it is the chunky, almost like a restaurant wear, chunky item. So cute. Could not pass that up. So I had to get that one. And then this is what I collect here. So, and these are all different. This is like Wellsville, China. USA. It is also like a restaurant wear. It is the thicker, chunkier pieces. They do not have the exact same design on them, but they are the green and white. And I got three pieces. Now these three pieces I'm keeping for my collection. So they will not be listed on the website, but you might be able to see back here. Let me show you this real quick. Here are some of the pieces that I have gotten. Little bowls, creamers, sugar. So, so these three here are going to stay, stay with me. But I do like to show you guys, even if I'm keeping it, I do like to show you guys what I have found. So I have also, I also found... Now I went to two different thrift stores. I went to Route 66, this and that. And then I went to, and these were both local here um, in St. Clair, Missouri, where I'm from. And uh, the other one was Karen's Corner. Um, in their basement, they have a lot of um, the hard goods, home stuff, but I found these two cute little, you know, and these, I could see these being used. They are glass. They do not have any markings on them, but they do have the little rusty, crusty metal handles. This one's got, well, they both had their little spouts, but how cute would these be as uh, toothpick holders? Or you could take a little succulent and put in them. Just adorable. Just cute little green glass pails. Love them. Couldn't pass those up. So, also, I got, okay, this item here. This one here, I actually had left over from an online auction. You know, when you do online auctions, you have, um, you buy things in lots. So usually when I see something in a lot that I want, I'll bid just for the price of that item. I'll go as high as I think that I need to go to still be able to flip it and uh, make a profit off of it. But this was one of those items that was in the lot that I really wasn't bidding on. And this says, made in China. So this is gonna be listed, but it's gonna be, um, the, read the description because it's gonna be uh, probably painted and distressed and all that stuff. So we got that. Yeah, like I, like I said, I, from the auction, I did have a few leftover items and uh, I'm throwing those in this haul. Now, this is one of them that came in a lot. Somebody's going to have to tell me what this piece is. 
Not real sure. It's got a little hinge on it, a little handle, two pieces of wood. It did have the rubber band around it. I'm assuming just to make sure it stayed together and that the hinge didn't, you know, get broke off. But I have no clue. This is one of those items that came in <laughs> one of those uh, lots. So I do not have any idea. So if you guys know, please tell me in the description what this thing is. Me and my husband sat here and pondered over this one night. We're like, is, is it for hamburgers? To mash out hamburgers? <laughs> we, had, we had no idea. So, yeah, if you have any idea, please, please let me know. So, so that. Now, I do have another bag of these porcelain insulators. These are, I had uh, several bags of the knob and tube ones. Well, I got another and there was only one, two, three, there's six of them, six of them in this bag. And I'm assuming these are the knobs considered knob and tube, but they are the porcelain insulators. I think these look gorgeous in like an iron stone bowl or a wire basket. Let me show you, I've got a bowl over here. Of them, but these will be listed up on the website also. But I've got a little iron stone bowl, so the tubes, some more of the little the knobs, and I think they look gorgeous just displayed in a china cabinet in an iron stone bowl pitcher or a cute little basket or something. I love love that look. So I do have a bag of these. I'm gonna sell them the bag as it is, six in a bag. Okay, these I picked up. <laughs> these are adorable. They, they are not listed, I did Google Lens them, they are not listed as like bookends, but to me, they are the most adorable little bookends but they are just considered little shelf sitters. So, and this one here, it's like the little library, the desk. It's got the little dog under the desk, at the desk, but it's just the cutest thing. It's got the little potted flower. It's got, I think that's like a little bird. Stack of books, the lamp, but how sweet are these? Look at the little skirt around the bottom of the chair. They're adorable. They're felted on the bottoms. There are no markings on these. But I did, like I said, I did Google Lens them. And they come up like $25 to $30 each. This one here is the cats. It's got the little book and then the little kitty cats and his little tail. There are no chips on these anywhere. I have run my finger over them all which usually like the tail would be broken off or something, but these are in really good condition. So I could not pass those up. I love the muted colors of them. So, so cute. And I will probably list these individually on the website just in case somebody just wants them as shelf sitters. So, but I will make the price reasonable. If you do want them as bookends, then you can grab them both, so. Set these down where I won't break them. Okay, this is another one. Actually, these two, they came in a lot from the auction and I love them both just like they are. So I probably will not do anything to these unless they sit on the website for quite a while or something, then I might pull them off and paint them. But this is another one of those that there are no chips on the flowers or the leaves on it, but how grand millennial cottage core, so cute with flowers in it. This, you could put some flowers in it or rolling pins or uh, wooden spoons and utensils. So cute, or just a big bushel of tulips would look really pretty for spring in these. So I got those two. And then we've got, <laughs> I thought this was really cool. Of course, I brought it home and told 
my husband, I found a wand and he's like, uh, no, he goes, if anything, it is a, no, he goes, not in this house. It is a conductor's stick, <laughs> which I thought was really cool. But if there are any Harry Potter fans out there and want to purchase this as one for their kids or something, then yeah. But I had to pick that up. Okay. We got this little copper piece. This is two, it says two and a half cups on it. I thought that was cute. It's got the little hanger on it so you can hang it on the wall for decor. Put it in a little kitchen vignette. I love these. We got that. I got this cute little basket. The handles are still attached. It's still in good shape. You can either use this on a basket wall or put this on a table or on your kitchen counter and do your little vignettes in it. I even liked the color of it. I wouldn't even change the color. So, and it's in good shape. So I picked that up. Can't go wrong with a good basket. And speaking of baskets, this one was one of my favorites. Love the color. It's got, uh, what's it say? Made by the People's Republic of China on it. I love the handles on it, the weave. Now you can see there is some glue in the bottom of it where somebody must have had a floral arrangement or something glued in there. But if you choose to take that out, you can always heat gun it and get the rest of the glue off. So, but very cute, cute, cute basket, love it. It's a good patinaed color on it too. So pick that up. These I always pick up, I never pass them up, whether they're um, metal or they're uh, wood. You can always use a cute easel. Now you can put little plates on here, little picture frames, um, a little wreath to stand up on it. If you don't like the wood, you can always paint them. I never pass these up, I love these. And these sell really good for me because a lot of people, a lot of people want these little easels. So I've got the wooden one. And so let me move this where it falls. I got this one, which is much larger and it is metal. It's made in China. So I've also got this one. It's got some detail on it. Like I said, I always pick these up. I love them. I actually, I got a few of my own sitting on both sides of me over here with stuff on them. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed this wood piece, and you guys are like, Peggy, what'd you grab that for? It says John Hinkson, 1282. So this one here will be listed, but it will say read description because we are going to paint this up. And this is one of those where you can use a tapered candle. You can put a little votive or a cloche, tall cloche, glass cloche thing over it. Or you can actually just do like a bird's nest or something. I don't have a bird's nest with me, but how cute would that be? Paint it up, distressed. It does have the hanger on the back and the green velvet, so it will protect your wall if you decide to, you know, hang it up. So this one will be uh, flipped, so very cute. I don't pass it. I mean, this is just a good base piece of wood that you can uh, do something with. So, oh, here is a, I got these two items. Here is another easel that I picked up. It's a shorter, stockier one. Very cute. This folds down also on it. Adorable. Like I said, I, I don't pass up the easels, especially if I can get them for a really good price. And this was another piece that was in a lot from the auction. I think it's kind of a little whimsical. And it does have something stamped on the back. Address and everything, but I cannot make it out. Tennessee. Some Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Um, but so cute. It is missing one of its little uh, wood pieces, but I'm going to fix that. 
add one to it, but how cute is that? I thought it was neat. So I thought, you know what? It's worth fixing up and seeing if anybody's interested in it. So now this I did pick. This came from this and that, Route 66, this and that right here in town. And I love these four tapered candle holders are just in your little rusty, rustic uh, decor, sitting on a book, a stack of books or something, laying flat with a tapered candle in it. Love these pieces. So it is very, it's heavy. It is very substantial. It's a wheel, an old wheel off of something. I would have loved to seen the piece that this came off of, so. So yeah, so we've got, got that. Okay, now we're gonna get into some kitchen items. I love these old, these are to pick up uh, canning jars when you're canning things out of their water baths. It's got the original wood handle on it with the green chippy. Love these pieces for display in your kitchen vignettes. Hanging on a little pegboard, so cute. So we've got that one. I've got this cute little um, juicer. Thought that was adorable. Um, and this I picked up because it was Pampered Chef. And I know I got my Pampered Chef fans out there too. So a little Pampered Chef juicer, I love those. Now the old stuff, well, let me go ahead and show you this spoon. This spoon, it says international and it says deep silver on the back of it, wrong way. And then look at it, it's so, it's shaped like a little heart. How cute is this spoon? And it's got some really pretty detail on it. I thought this would be adorable. Even for a little sugar dish, but just so sweet, it's too cute. Now I got a couple of these strainers, y'all, look at these. This one's larger than this one. I love the patina on both of them. This one's got the black handle. I don't know what the technical name is for these little strainer scoops, but hang on. Something in the kitchen, love these, love these. And then I got another one. Look at the blue color on this one, guys, and the old, old aged patina on it. Gorgeous, it's also got the little end where it hooks. So cute. I got this old spoon. Again, with the gorgeous patina, love it. And putting these in a crock, all this in the crock in your kitchen, on your countertop, guys, look at that. Love it. The stuff is just right up my alley. This I love too. Look at the wood handle still on it. Usually, a lot of these wood handles, they are usually like gone but I love the shape of this, the color, everything. So cute. We got this. Again, guys, all of these in a crock um, on your kitchen counter, your island, would look gorgeous. Add some wooden spoons in there for some more texture. We got the little grater, nutmeg little graters, I guess. Adorable. You can actually even put some dried flowers on this with a little uh, bow on it or something. Oh my gosh, guys, my allergies have been killing me. And this is a candy and jelly thermometer. I see these a lot, but I never find them with the actual little clip on the back or the handles on them. I usually find these without that. It's usually just this piece here. But look at the color on that wooden handle. So cute. Add that with your little vignette. Adorable. Okay, we've got, got a few more here. 
I always pick these up. If you guys have followed me on Facebook, you would see where I did um, a vintage vignette setting of how to display family photos, vintage family photos and stuff. And I've used these in stuff like that to where you can open them and then put set the pictures down in here. Like if you have a picture, like I say, if you have one of these of your grandpa's, great grandpa's or something, your dad's, and then set this on like a really like rustic tray and then put the old photos of your family members on there. How cute. So check out my Facebook page, guys. You will see a most recent picture on there of me using one of these to display. So I will be listing that. Okay, solid brass. Where's my solid brass fans at? Look at this cute little detailed little basket. It's got the little detail on the handles. Cute, it is solid brass. Love it. Little trinket dish, you can put florals in it. How cute would it be with a cute little bunny in it for Easter? or little Easter eggs, very cute. Love, love my brass, my brass candlesticks and all that good stuff. Okay, I do have some birds, you guys. I got a whole basket full of cardinals here. I will list them individually on the site. I know I have some cardinal lovers out there who love to decorate and do crafts and stuff or put the little cardinals in the vignettes. Some of them are a little rough. Like this one here, I'm going to try and, his feathers have been ruffled uh, just a little, so. But some of them have the clips on them, some of them don't, so. But I have three, four, five, I have six cardinals. Six cardinals, <laughs> see this one here? His little feathers have been ruffled too. And I have this one here. How cute is he? create a cute little bird's nest and put him in there in a vignette, or if you have a big bird house that you want to display him on. So I have that, and then I have this cute little basket with a little um, slot on there to where you can put your little label. Any kind of storage, I love storage items, guys, so I do not pass that stuff up. Okay, speaking of little birds, I got some cute little ceramic birds two of them. I will sell them as a set. They are not salt and pepper shakers or anything. So how cute are those? And then back to my rusty crusty kitchen items. I've got this strainer. I just love, cannot pass this stuff up guys. I have got this thing for <laughs> rusty old Vintage or kitchen items. So how cute would this be with some greenery, a little towel hanging out of it, sitting in your kitchen, holding some utensils. And then this. It still has the wooden handle. There and there. It still has the little clip on it that you hook onto your little bowl or pot. How beautiful is this piece? Love the green. So cute. Not for practical use, for decor purposes, y'all. Very cool. All right, now this piece here was a Hobby Lobby piece. A $40 Hobby Lobby piece. And the patina on it is really cute too. So what I'm thinking is I love the flowers. That is glass. It's got a little votive candle in it. I am gonna list this, I'm gonna clean it up, get the dust off of it, list it on the website, but if it doesn't sell the color it is, then I will pull it off, of course, paint it up and see, update it a little and see if it goes better that way. But it has, it's very heavy, it's substantial. But very cute. I'm thinking I, I like the patina that it has on it. And it is one of those items that if you use it as is in a vignette and then decide later on you want to change your decor, this is one of those items that you can just pull out of your stuff and then just paint and give it a whole new life. So 
we got that. And these, I'm not real sure, guys, what they were used for. But I saw Christmas bells. I know it's far from Christmas, but I'm almost thinking maybe these were something that you hung on like your gutter or like for a rainfall thing because they have the hook here. See how they have the hook? And then these were like copper color and they're all rusty now. So it almost looks like since they were hanging them like this, that it was like one of those rain catcher things. But this is one of those things that if it doesn't sell, I will not be disappointed because I have ideas like come Christmas time for stuff like this. Let's see. So how many? I will list it just as is. One, two, three, four, five, eight. So it does have eight on it. But yeah, my mind's still going. <laughs> on what could be done with those. I mean, you can get you know, sets of three and make a little Christmas bell decor with it or something. So options there, guys, options. This piece, I loved the shape of it. I love the detail on it. And this little dangly piece down here, the detail on it. Now this will be listed on the website and it will say read the description because this one here I am going to paint. I am going to distress, probably do some white wax, dark wax, depending on what color I decide to go with. I haven't done anything like this in white in a while. So I might do it white, bring back, distress it, bring back the detail, do a dark wax and maybe some highlight gold gilding wax on it or something to make the detail on this pop. Um, I am going to uh, list it with the florals in it. I love these florals. Y'all look at how wispy and bright and cheery these yellow ones are. And I'm not a big yellow person, but I love these flowers in this. So it will be listed to be painted and then the florals will come with it. So I just thought that was a, just a really cool piece. The color of this is just a little dated. So all it takes is a little bit of paint, guys. And some distressing. And yes, it's a whole new piece. And that's really, those yellow flowers are really going to pop if this is white. So very cute. But like I said, if this is something that you decide you want to purchase and you want it just like it is, when you purchase it, just send me a message, um, an email or PM me through Facebook or something and just, or even through the website and tell me do not paint and I will send it out just like it is. So that easy, but I love these florals. I think they're so pretty. And another item that this one is not gonna be for sale just yet. I am doing a kind of vintage baby shower coming up April 1st. So this thing is going to be used. I've got an idea that I need to use this for first. And then I will list it. Now this is old. It's American Playground Device Company. So number 554. Five, I love the number five. So I really like this basket. Look at all that rusty, crusty goodness, guys. In this gorgeous, love pieces like this. Love it, love it. So yes, yeah, so this is, will eventually be for sale, but don't look for it on the website just yet. Like I said, I am gonna use this at a baby shower. I know you guys are probably like, what? <laughs> I will do little snips through um, how we decorate at the baby shower and stuff, but I love doing decor pieces and decorating and thrifting and flipping items. But when it comes to part, planning a party, uh, my anxiety is going to be off the charts. So yeah. <laughs> and here is another piece. Now these are not for sale. These are going in the nursery. I've got this cute little vintage wooden hanger and this baby bed rail thing. Look at this. How cute. And my idea with this piece, let me just show you guys real quick. Can you see that? 
I am going to, I don't know if I'm just gonna lean it up in the nursery for now or actually hang that piece on the wall, but my idea for it is, I'm right here, I didn't leave you guys, um, to, I'd really like to find some really cute old vintage baby clothes. Look how sweet that is. And then we're just going to hang these pieces. I got little clothes pins here. Let me just show you. Show you my thought process on this. And I got this baby rail thing in town at our local uh, Karen's Corner thrift store. But how cute. Let me get it hooked on there. How cute is that? We can even use this as a decor piece at the baby shower too. So yeah, so that is everything that, I think that's all of it. I think that's the whole thrift haul that I've got for you guys. So yes, so make sure you check out the website at thesimplesprucestudio.com. These items will be listed with the exception of a few that I told you guys about, but everything else will be listed on there. Make sure that you read, if it says read the description, that you read that because if it's an item that I'm going to uh, paint, upcycle, you know, flip, and you don't want it flipped or painted or anything done to it, make sure you send me a message when you purchase it that you don't want anything done with it. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I got for you. I usually get off here and think, oh, I missed something, but. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will uh, check out my uh, channel, The Simple Spruce Studio. I hope you will hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, and uh, so you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.